time to live it up, love, and shop. We've got some great advice from flight attendants, and we take a closer look at the rise of the PSL, plus an amazing drink idea from Susie the Foodie. We start with some life tips from a flight attendant. Tommy Chamato's viral video has received more than 5 million views as he warns flyers about the five things you should never do on a flight. Things you should never do on an airplane. Number one, do not ever touch the flush button or lever with your bare hands. It's honestly just super unsanitary and it's pretty gross. So when you flush, use a napkin or a tissue that's in the lavatory. Number two, don't forget to drink water. Stay hydrated. You want to have about 16 ounces for every flight that you go on. Just keep that in mind. Number three, do not fall asleep or lean your head on the window. You're not the only one who has done that and you don't know how many people or children have wiped their hands or other things all over the window. Number four, don't or try not to wear shorts when you're on an airplane. It's the same thing as the window. You never know how clean it's gonna be. So if you have pants, you're gonna have less germs. Number five, don't feel afraid to let a flight attendant know if you're feeling sick. We are there to help. So if you need food, water, or an air sickness bag, please feel free to let us know. We will stick with the airline travel theme here. New York-based flight attendant Lay Shaw explains why you should think twice about eating the airplane food on your next flight. I wouldn't eat the meals too often, not saying that like they're bad or anything like that because sometimes they hit, but I wouldn't eat them too often. I'm not gonna eat every single meal off the plane as much as I want to, only because there's a lot of preservatives. Um, it's very high in sodium, so it's not good for your health overall to eat them too much. They have to have that in the food on the plane so that way food doesn't rot. A few more travel tips for you from Laisha. She says do bring your own pillow or blanket. Don't scoop a dive 48 hours prior to takeoff and don't buy tickets from third party sites if you want to sit together as a family. Don't eat the ice either and don't walk barefoot through the cabin. Happy 20th birthday to the PSL. The pumpkin spice latte was launched at Starbucks in October of 2003. The drink has become the chain's most popular seasonal sipper. One of the creators behind the PSL said the idea of pumpkin anything other than pie didn't really exist in the early 2000s. Well, fast forward two decades later and everything in the grocery store is pumpkin spice during the fall shopping season. Well, maybe you're in the mood to step out of your PSL comfort zone. Here's Susie the foodie with, have you ever tried snake fruit? Have you ever tried snake fruit? It's also known as salak. The outer skin has a similar texture to snake scales, and the inside looks like garlic cloves. Out of all the fruits I've tried, this is still one of my favorites. To me, the flavor is just like juicy fruit gum. If you've never had that, I'd compare it to sour jackfruit. The fruit I got was frozen so it would blend better into a juice. I first decorated a snake mold with gold flakes. I was going for a little bit of a Harry Potter vibe. Next, I poured the rest of the juice in a canister. I then double charged the juice to make a soda. I let that set in the fridge for about an hour, then poured the soda into a glass. I was so excited with how the ice cube turned out. I added edible flowers, sotol syrup, and little drops of dragon fruit juice. There you go. Follow Susie the Foodie on her socials on Instagram. It's at Susie the Foodie. Same for Facebook. She's got all of her recipes there. Also, you can check out our website, lifeloveshoppingshow.com, LLSshow.com. We feature all of the content we provide on the Life Love Shopping Show. We also take you behind the scenes and give you some extras to some of the interviews that we offer you there. So check it out, lifeloveshoppingshow.com. And also, follow us on all of our socials. We're on Instagram at LLSshow.com. We're also on Facebook. We would love for you to follow us there, and we will hope to see you soon. Life, love, shopping. If you live it, love it, or buy it, we talk about it.